Last week, we tried out a challenge, which is called a well-priced wonder. But that's not really how I cook on a day-to-day -day basis. That's more of showing you, you know, if you have a limited budget and your first time starting to cook, that's a creative way on how I will go about it. The next three weeks, I'm going to show you the time-saving, budget-friendly tips on how to cook at home. Let's head to the supermarket. I'm going to show you what are the things I look out for and how I shop. All right, so now we're at a supermarket. So today I'm gonna to show you the pantry tips. Let's go. So what I want to show you are some of my staple items in my pantry. So number one, I always have assortment of beans. The beans is a little bit limited here today, but typically like all these kidney beans, sometimes canelli beans, or the ones I use very often is chickpeas. All these beans are very versatile because it's high in protein. It can help as a thickener for soups, for gravies. The other ones that I use a lot, okay, these are lifesaver as well. If you don't have time to make your own chicken stock, I look at the ingredients. It's basically just chicken and water. So I believe not much additives added inside. Some of these uh, fish, these sardines, are very good protein option as well. Cheaper, in a sense. Add into the salad. You can make it to make it into a sandwich. I think the idea is always have these things in your backbone so you can easily add in flavor or add in as a source of nutrients. This is also an aisle that I always come by. Different canned tomatoes. A lot of times they are very good in adding flavor in your dishes. I always have a few jars sitting in my pantry. A one that I always use actually is the pastata. It's actually a pureed tomato with no flavor added in. Well, this one has flavor, this one has herbs. But you can buy the plain one, you reduce it. It's a nice pizza topping. Um, you can add into soups. So this, I always have one of those. A assortment of pasta. I always have them in hand. So pasta can always come in handy. My boys, the merchies, they like these different shells. All right, and also these are fantastic capers. Olives, if you have them, a few in your pantry, you can easily whip out stuff. Of course, I'm talking about more Western dishes. For the more Asian side, there are all kinds of sauces that we should look at as well. Soy sauce, oyster, dou ban jiang. I highly recommend a lot of these um, curry paste. I mean, nowadays they say made from scratch, but to be honest, there's no time. So you can buy these packet, but then you add in your own, you know, add-ons, right? Shallots, fresh ginger, you can put it in. But then just use these packets. For Chinese cooking, these are all, I mean, pantry stable items that we see. So today with the pantry, I am going to make actually um, use quite a few pantry items. I'm going to use a pantry chicken stock with chickpeas and also some of that tomato pastada. And then we're going to make a basic onion soup, uh, just adding fresh onion and coriander and that's it so it's a basic stock use basic basic soup using a stable pantry item all right i'm done with the shopping let's head back for cooking cutting onions you know why i don't get teary eye when i cut onion because i wear contact lenses that's the trick so just roughly chop the onion. This is a process that's basically, we're gonna let the onion slowly, slowly caramelize. It will take time. So when you're doing this, you can prepare a lot of other stuff. Basically cook and prep at the same time, which is what I love. So here we use about one kilo of onion. You will see basically later it will be reduced to very, very little, like less than a cup of onion, but nice and very sweet caramelized. And this actually can easily, I will say, eight serving. If you have the freezer space, you can freeze it as well. The idea is huh? Oh, hitting you? Why? <laughs> of course, it will hit you. It's a lot of onions. Don't let it. You don't need to turn a lot. Just let it sweat. Maybe turn every five minutes. Mm -hmm. Let it sweat. So for any of these heavy soup, when I say heavy soup, it's like butter, root vegetables. It's always a good idea to brighten it up with some herbs. Here I'm going to use coriander. 
but any herbs. Not to just only add color, but also really gives another layer of taste when you add some herbs to it. Okay, next I am going to prepare spices. I often get asked, should I buy whole spice or powder spice? My suggestion is buy whichever that you're going to use very often. So in this case, coriander powder and cumin seeds I use very often. So I just buy the powder. But let's say these cardamom I'm not using very often as a powder. I buy the whole seeds. And if I need to make it into a powder, I can just grind them. Is there a technique for using a vessel? I don't know. I'm just using whatever. <laughs> it's really based on how... Is it going with the grain? Like, is it working or not? Or you can always use the spice grinder. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Coriander powder. Cumin, about one teaspoon. Turmeric powder. Little bit of cloves. Clove is very strong, so just a little bit. Mix together. So we have an onion sweating. We have herbs, spices. This is already done, so no need to worry about it. And we just need to open up our chickpeas. Fantastic. I use chickpeas for soup. It is great, of course, hummus. It's also great for dry roasted. So you can roast them until crispy, put some spice in it. It's a great pantry item. All right, so now you see the onion is nice and brown. Okay, I'm going to add in the spice. From my Indian uh, cooking background, I always tend to bloom the spice. So blooming the spice is meaning roast them in fat to let the flavor to be released. I often get asked, how do you know when the spice is bloomed? The key thing is you want to keep it at a low simmer, low fire, because you don't want to burn it. And then once you're able to smell the fragrance of the spice coming out, then you will know. Okay, one thing I forgot to show you is just pastata. It's basically a tomato puree, pure tomato puree. It's great for flavoring, great for color, great for nutrition. So I'm going to add some into the soup. So some nice coriander. Okay, I'm going to put the chicken stock in. Wow, so many pantry items. Even I'm impressed. So now I'm going to let it simmer and cook for another half an hour. So our masala spice onion and chickpea soups are done. Ta -da! Very fulfilling. And we'll use mostly pantry items. I'm serving it um, two ways today. One is to serve with a nice open face sandwich. I'll be sharing this recipe in a few weeks time using roasted chicken conveniently bought from the supermarket. Or we can also just eat it alone with a nice piece of toast. Sweet from the onion, masala spice, a little bit of a hint of tomato, and you bite into the chickpeas. Very satisfying.